this section we're going to deal with literal equations. Um, I mean by literal is mostly all the all the equation deals with is mostly variables. Uh, we solve equations with just one variable, you know, 2x plus 3 equals 7, you would try to solve for x. And you'd usually add or subtract, multiply and divide other numbers to get x by itself. But in these problems we're going to have mostly uh, other variables that we need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to get uh, basically to isolate one of the other variables. So let's take a look at this first one. We have v equal to one third pi r squared h. Um, and we want to solve for h, so we need to isolate the h. So you have to look at each of the other terms and see how it relates to the h and basically do the opposite. So one third, when they're all in a row like this, that means multiplication, so it's being multiplied by one third. So we need to do the opposite or divide by one third. Or with fractions, you can multiply by the reciprocal, and that would be times three. So my first step, I multiply both sides by three. So it's gonna be three v equal to pi r squared h. Alright, so let's keep going down the line. Pi, that's also being multiplied, so we can divide by pi on both sides. Alright, so that's going to leave us with 3v over pi is equal to r squared h. Alright, so if you look at uh, r squared, that's being multiplied also, so I can divide by r squared, and divide by r squared. Alright, that's going to leave it 3v over pi r squared. Now, when you keep on dividing, it's the same as just dividing once and multiplying those two t together on the bottom. So that's why you can do that, pi r squared. That's going to leave you with h. All right, so h is going to equal 3v over pi r squared. So this is not any different really from a regular equation you need to solve for, but you just have other variables which represent numbers anyway, so you still just multiply, add, divide, and, and subtract, just like a regular equation. Alright, so let's, let's take a look at another one. Here we got a equals p plus prt. Solve for p. Now when you, when you want to solve for a single variable, you need to uh, basically have it so it, it's only one of those variables in the equation, so you can solve for it because at the end you want p equal something. So here we have two p's, the p here and the p that's part of the prt. So we need to figure out a way just to get one p. Um, what you can do is factor out the p. So you have p times one plus rt. So that's just uh, general factoring out. They each had a term of p, so I factored it out. If you multiply this out, p times 1 gives you p. p times rt gives you the p rt. Alright, so now we only have the single p. It's multiplied by the quantity 1 plus rt. Now what we need to do is divide by 1 plus rt on both sides to get rid of it. So that's basically going to cancel out 1 plus rt, leaving p by itself be equal to a over 1 plus rt. So the, the trick in this problem was the you first had to factor it out. If you didn't factor out at the beginning, it would be impossible to solve. So when you see that a problem just like that, remember to factor out the p. Alright, let's take a look at this one. 
A equals 1 half H times the quantity B1 plus B2. And we want to solve for B1. Alright, so just like the other ones, you need to see how each term is related to the one that we want to solve for. So 1 half and H is multiplied by the quantity. So these two are multiplied. So with fractions, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. Alright, so that's going to be 2a over here. The 1 half is going to cancel out to 2. Leaving with h times the quantity b1 plus b2. Alright, so let's now look at the h. The h is being multiplied by the term b1 plus b2. So we just need to divide that out. So you get 2a over h is equal to b1 plus b2. Alright, so we want to solve for b1, so we need to get rid of the b2 that's being added to b1, so we need to subtract b2. Alright, so we get 2a over h minus b2 equals b1. Now we want to write this as a single fraction on this left hand side. So we need to make a common denominator of h and that will give us, uh, let me put b1 on this side and with a common denominator you have 2a over h minus b2h over h if you combine that it's going to be 2a minus b2h over h alright so we've done all we have to do is multiply, divide, add, and subtract to solve and get to uh, the ver to isolate the variable that we were looking for, b1. Now, now the students are kind of scared of these problems because they don't see the numbers, but uh, the letters represent numbers, so just treat them just like they are numbers. All right, so this is our last one: y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1, and we want to solve for x. Alright, so we want to look on the side that has the variable, so it's on the right hand side. You want to get rid of everything else that's on that side, the m and the x1. So let's start with the m, that's m times x. So we need to do the opposite, divide by m. Alright, so that gives us y minus y1 over m is equal to x minus x1. Alright, so we're still dealing with the variables on the right hand side. We have a negative x1, so we need to add x1 to both sides. So it gives us y minus y1 over m plus x1 equal to x. And just like the last problem, we want to have this as a single fraction. So let me put the x on this side. So that's going to be plus x1m over m or x is going to equal y minus y1 plus x1m over m. Alright, so we now we have the x by itself, so it's equal to y minus y1 plus x1m divided by m. So that's how you solve literal equations.